This is a lake. If you build rows of piers across the water, you can lay stone slabs on top and quickly connect the east and west banks. But when the current runs too fast, ordinary square piers are easily washed away. So you come up with an idea, reshape them into boat-shaped piers, their pointed ends splitting the flow and reducing the risk of collapse. Yet another problem appears, the solid bridge blocks the lake completely, leading no passage for cargo boats. Clever as you are, you think of making one section into a drawbridge that can rise and fall. Most of the time, it serves pedestrians, but when ships need to pass, lifting the bridge lets them sail safely through. Still, the challenge isn't over. If the gap is too narrow, traffic slows to a crawl. If it's too wide, the bridge becomes too heavy to lift. Naturally, you won't be stopped here. Borrowing several small boats, you turn them into floating bridge segments that can swing open or close at will. During the day they close together to carry travelers. At night they spread apart to let large cargo ships through. Congratulations! You've just invented one of the earliest bascule bridges, the Guangji Bridge.